Hey, what's up guys? John with RussellMarineProducts.com and today we're coming at you with a Garmin video. We're going to talk about the new Echomap Ultra 2 units and what to expect. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, we just got some information about Garmin coming out with some new units. This is gonna be an extension on their Echomap Ultra series. They're calling these the Echomap Ultra 2. And this is going to be the big brother to the UHD2 units. We've gone over in another video. If you wanna look at those seven and nine inch options, make sure you check that video out. We'll break those down in depth over there. Uh, but this video, we're talking about the 10 and the 12 inch units. This is Echomap Ultra 2. And a lot of the same specs are going to carry over into the Echomap Ultra 2. Some of the main points, the main advancements that we're seeing on this lineup is wireless networking capabilities. So that kind of goes hand in hand with the UHD2 units. Those also have that wireless networking capability. So the Echomap Ultra 2 units will not only wirelessly network together, but they will also wirelessly network with the UHD2 models. So uh, both of those newer series of units have that wireless networking capability. So that is something that may come in handy for those of you guys uh, that don't wanna run wires through your boat, or maybe you just have a couple graphs. Uh, you're gonna be able to share sonar information, waypoints, uh, all that good stuff between the two units with that wireless networking capability. Um, we did see the price go up just a little bit, and typically when we see a new unit, we will see a price increase, but Garmin is pretty good about not raising those prices too high. So you're gonna see an extra $150 on the price tag on the Echomap Ultra 2 units versus how they were priced at the Echomap Ultra. So you've got the 126 SV, which is gonna be your 12 inch option here. And the six is gonna indicate that it has the preloaded mapping in it. And while we're on the subject, we'll talk about the Garmin Navionics Plus mapping package, which is going to be coming on these Echomap Ultra 2 units. So if you get the 126 or the 106, you're gonna get that Garmin Navionics Plus mapping package. Um, so you've got the same options, you've got the 106, the 126, then you've got without the mapping, uh, there's no price difference between whether you get the, the 102 or the 106. Whether you get the preloaded mapping or not, they're the same price. So might as well go ahead and get that preloaded mapping. For those guys that are out of the country, those are the ones that are going to take advantage of those base map options. So something to look at there. Um, so we've got the same mapping, we've got the same screen resolution as we had before. We're still running the 1280 by 800 pixel count. Um, we've got the same transducer compatibility, so we haven't seen any new transducer technology coming about. The GT56 is still a fairly new transducer, getting you some really good images in that megahertz frequencies. Uh, everybody seems to be happy with their LiveScope Plus systems as well. Haven't seen any improvements on that but you are going to be able to take advantage of the wireless networking. And then also another new feature for the Echomap 2s, uh, the Echomap Ultra 2s are going to be the ability to screen share and record. And this is something we've been able to do with the GPS map units. Um, we know we're gonna be able to take advantage of this feature through the Active Captain app. So that is something a lot of you Garmin guys are already familiar with. And now the Echomap Ultra 2 users are gonna be able to take advantage of uh, a very similar feature. I'm assuming we're gonna be using the, the Helm feature inside of that app. That's what we've been using with the GPS map in order to record and screen share. Um, whether or not they call it the Helm feature or not, you will have the ability inside of that app. So for those of you guys that are going to be creating content for social media and you want to get 
a screen recording of you catching fish or you know maybe like you're doing something like us and going over settings and stuff it'll make it really easy to do and you don't have to spend more money to get that feature like you've had to do in the past so that is really nice um, the other benefit that we have seen it's kind of more of a, a backup scenario but i've had some guys that are running lorance or they're running hummingbird on their boat they've got live scope up front but that's the only garmin unit they have up there i've got a map card in that unit or they've got the preloaded mapping in it and they may find themselves on a body of water that is not mapped with their console unit and the nice thing about being able to access that app uh, that helm feature is you can actually pull up you can not only screen record um, but you can actually make adjustments to that screen through the app whether you're on a big tablet you could have a, a tablet mounted right there or you're just on your phone uh, you'll actually be able to utilize that unit and all of its features. So you might be able to look at live scope at the back. You've got somebody at the back of the boat that wants to take advantage of that information, or maybe you want to navigate the lake using the mapping information that is built in to that unit, but you want to view it back here on your phone. So that's another benefit of the ability to capture that screen and, and uh, actually control that screen through the Active Captain app. So we're, we're going to be looking at all of the same dimensions. You know, if you've got an Echomap Ultra unit and you want to put an Echomap Ultra 2 in its place, it'll fit right in the cradle, same cradle and locking mechanism. If you've got one flush mounted, this one will drop right in. Probably not a huge reason for somebody to go out and replace their Echomap Ultra with an Echomap Ultra 2. Uh, but if some of these capabilities are something you want to take advantage of, you, you, you're able to do so. Um, and I figure while we're kind of talking about that wireless networking, just understand it does have to be an Echomap Ultra 2 or a UHD 2. So if you have a new Echomap Ultra 2 and an existing Echomap Ultra, you won't get that wireless networking capability. And then also as it pertains to, to networking, you still have the two Ethernet ports on the back of the Echomap Ultra 2 like you had on the Echomap Ultras. So you're still going to be able to run that wired network if you prefer. So a few new features on these Echomap Ultra 2s. If you're looking into getting into a new Garmin, this is definitely something that you want to check out. All right, guys, if you have any questions at all, make sure you put them down in the comment section below. Give us a call at 316-313-4113 or shoot an email over to sales at russellmarineproducts.com. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one. Are you tired of your old marine electronics? At RP, we make trade in easy. Three steps. Step one, shoot us an email, get a quote. Step two, send us your old unit and get credit. Step three, get your brand new unit and get it installed on your boat today.